Hello guys! Today I'm going to show you my top 5 racing games with the best image model. To make this top 5 list I'll select all the racing games of the last 15 years and I'm going to evaluate from 0 to 10 two elements. Visual damages like body deformation, detachable parts of the car and mechanical damages like loss of performances, impacts of durability, etc. Before starting this top 5 I must tell you something important you have to know. Racing games which feature real car brands licenses sometimes can't damage too much the cars in game because this could be seen as a bad image impact for the car brands. So you have to keep this in mind while evaluating a racing game. I'll try to stay objective and unbiased as possible as usual. So are you ready for this top 5? It's strange uh, considering uh, Project Car 2 has better damage system than Project Car 3, but not that much. The reason? Project Car 3 features only the visual damages, while Project Car 2 features both visual and mechanical. And considering the visual damages are pretty similar between the two games, obviously Project Car 2 wins the battle. Visually speaking, the damages look pretty good, even if the body deformation isn't so accurate. The chassis keeps its original shape even after a violet impact. But considering the game features real cars, and uh, many of them are luxury cars like Ferrari, Lamborghini, McLaren, Porsche, I think uh, Slightly Mad Studios did an, an awesome job on the visual damages. We think you need to come into the pit. It looks like you've got some suspension damage, so we need to check it out, see if we can fix it. For the mechanical damages, the game is very realistic. You can even blow the engine if you don't open enough the radiator duct and the air temperature according to the time of the day, the weather, the season, yes, the game features four seasons, have a huge impact on the car performances. Also, if you are too aggressive on your car, you risk, for example, to damage the engine if you go too much on the red zone of the RPM. Okay, that's it. The engine is blown. The race is over. Transmission, suspension, engine, wheels, brakes can suffer mechanical damages and decrease their efficiencies. Strangely, a high speed impact uh, won't kill your car immediately. People loved a lot this game for several reasons, and its decent damage system is one of those. Considering it's a 2008 game, the simulation still survives thanks to the constant game updates, which includes better visual and mechanical damages. But the problem is only few cars, and obviously not the luxury brands, feature the last damage update. If all the cars included in the game featured uh, the same kind of model, maybe a racing will be included in the top 3. But if we see the standard damage model, Yes, okay, there is deformation, but doesn't look that realistic to me. And I don't think uh, several luxury car brands like Ferrari and Porsche will accept to see their car heavily damaged in game. <laughs> if we see the mechanical damages, 
Even here we see the same damage models in Project Cars, like the engine failure. But I repeat, considering it's a simulation from 2008, I consider the fourth place an awesome result for eye racing. But in my opinion, it's the moment to use and invest the money of all subscribers of the game to create a new game with a new engine, don't you think? The hardest racing game I have played has a great image system. Visually you can see the body deformation, but in some cases it looks like uh, cars are made of uh, rubber. <laughs> it reminds a bit the deformation we saw previously on a racing, which isn't, yeah, but surely it can be more realistic than that, especially if uh, we see the rear rally accidents. But overall the visual damages are acceptable for a racing game made in 2019. Yeah, of course, there are modes on the PC version uh, which can improve the visual damages, but comparing a modded game in this top 5 uh, with all the original games will have been unfair. Turn square left, don't cut. 80. The mechanical damages are well implemented with the visual ones, and it could be a real nightmare to finish a stage with a serious damaged car. And unlike Project Car 2, a high speed crash could kill your car in just one second. Luckily, like the other chapters of the series, you can repair and fix your car, piece by piece, showing you how detailed the damage model is uh, in uh, Dirt Rally 2.0. Let's hope uh, for a miracle in Dirt Rally 3.0. A racing game which is focused in emulation racing should feature a great image system, no matter if simulation or arcade. Well, Wreckfest won't disappoint you in this aspect. The visual damages are the best you can find on console, PlayStation and the Xbox. The body deformation is very realistic and it perfectly reflects the impact and the violence of your accidents. And of course, when you tune your car on the track, you, you can clearly see how useful are the elements you use to make your car stronger and heavier. Too bad you can't have flat tires, otherwise uh, I will give the game a 10 out of 10 uh, on the visual damages. What about the mechanical ones? Well, here we see the arcade spirit of the game, but since the last big game update, the mechanical damages are more realistic. The engine power decreases when you damage it. Same for the brakes, uh, transmission and suspension. You can bend and lose uh, your wheels. And this has a, a great impact on the reliability of your car. Let's say the developers found the perfect compromise between simulation and arcade. And for that reason, uh, um, in my opinion, 
This game is the funnest one to play compared to the other racing games of this top 5. Before discovering the racing game with the best damage model, I want to include in this video the honorable mentions, and of course I couldn't forget to include the Burnout Paradise. The visual damage model was really great when this game was released back in 2008, but it wasn't included in this list because the mechanical damage are absent, except uh, when you full destroy your car of course. <laughs> The spiritual successor of Burnout Paradise, made by the same developers, is Dangerous Driving, released in 2019, but it doesn't feature the same body deformation we saw in Burnout Paradise, especially because if we speak about money, Dangerous Driving doesn't have the same big budget of Burnout Paradise, because Dangerous Driving doesn't feature the same injection of money made by EA, but by another publisher, Maximum Games. And uh, you can understand, uh, despite the skills, with few money a developer can't do miracles. Another game which deserves to be mentioned is Grand Theft Auto, more precisely the fourth chapter, because it had better damage system compared to Grand Theft Auto V. In fact, the body deformation is very nice, considering it isn't a racing game. And yes, it features mechanical damage as well, because when you damage the car too much, the, the engine won't start, and you can hear Nico Bellic yelling at the car. <laughs> you going to start? Come on, baby, start! Like Burnout, it was released in 2008. Ooh, time flies! Another more recent game which deserves to be mentioned is World Rally Championship 9, released in 2020. Technically superior on some aspect uh, compared to Dirt Rally 2.0. It loses the challenge on the damage system, more specifically on the visual damages. Yes, they are present, but the body deformation is poor and an impact at high speed won't kill your car. Too bad. Maybe War Rally Championship 10 will improve this part. I guess uh, many people knew already the winner of this top 5, <laughs> even before clicking on this video. Its Majesty BMG Drive represents the apotheosis of card images in video games. The soft body physics are simply divine. The body deformation is great on any aspect. Every car has its own mass and rigidity. The physics are so realistic, even water and wind can damage and deform your car. It's something I never saw before in a video game. Simply beautiful.
but the game doesn't amaze you only on the visual damages, but also on the mechanical ones. For example, if you flip your car upside down because of the gravity, the engine will starve out oil. You can join your engine by going on water. Obviously, you can damage the car without crashing it. You can blow the engine just by torturing it at high RPM. You can damage suspensions, differential, transmission, wheels, tires, brake, steering, radiator. You can even damage the engine by yourself with the cursor. This game is simply amazing. Okay, it isn't born as a racing game, so it shouldn't be included in the top 5. But considering it's like a sandbox, you can transform it into a racing game. The game is still incomplete and uh, in early access since 2013. In March 2021 the game is still in the version 0.21.4 and since early I don't know how many years we have to wait until the final version. I hope the developers uh, will improve the graphics because this game deserves better graphics. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video!